Hey guys, and welcome to Digu Tarot. Happy almost birthday to you, Leo. This is going to be your birthday uh, by the end of the month. Congratulations. I'm going to be doing your reading for all the fire signs timestamp for Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And I'm going to get all your love readings out here. I'm going to start with Leo because it is your birthday month by the end of the month, so I feel like I should. And then I'll go on to Sag and I'll finish up with Aries. And I'm going to be using my Rider Waite deck for Leo. I don't know if I'm going to use that the same deck for the rest of you guys. But I'm also going to be getting um, Oracle messages or, you know, like a straightforward clear-cut message from Spirit with my Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling deck at the end of each love reading. It kind of comes through to me almost like an Oracle deck for a lot of other readers. I just really vibe with its energy for a lot of uh, reasons. So, and I've been really, um, really liking the clear messages that I've been getting about situations when I pull one at the end of a reading. So we're going to do Leo first. And welcome back to my subscribers. And I really appreciate everybody who likes, comments, shares, subscribes. It makes me really happy. I am so happy for your support. Um, it's really great, guys. So thank you for that. And if you like this video, uh, like, subscribe, comment. I love to hear how you resonate. Um, I like to read all your comments. I do read them all. <laughs> really liking all the... Um, private readings that I've been doing as well. Those have been interesting. They've been really good. So hope those, hopefully those have been helpful. All right. Leo, what's going on? Let's cut it. Queen of Swords. <clears throat> King of Cups reversed. Page of Wands. Ace of Cups reversed. Hmm. The World reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups. A lot of water. I want to pull this one too. The Moon reversed. Hmm. So we'll pull some clarifiers here because this is kind of interesting. A lot of people in your reading. And I'm not surprised because Leos are very popular. <laughs> you guys have a lot of friends. You've got a lot going on all the time. A lot of connections all the time. So the Queen of Swords first indicates to me that there is an air sign, probably a female air sign involved in this. I don't know, there's like three people right in a row here. This Queen of Swords, right next to the upside of King of Cups, right next to the Page of Wands. So, hmm, you could be kind of trying to make a decision between a King of Cups and a younger fire sign or let me see i'm gonna pull a couple clarifiers so there's just too many people here for me to like wow and then there's the pay the knight of cups and the queen of cups below them jesus christ you guys always have so much going on i feel like all right let's see queen of cups page one so i feel like these three are all connected up here so i kind of want to pull some clarifiers before i can get into this because so you guys have a lot of I don't know, the Leos that I know are always having these complex communication things and too many people involved all the time. I get the Queen of Wands. Two of Swords reversed. The Chariot reversed. Ten of Swords. So yeah. I'm feeling like maybe the Queen of Swords is actually you. I'm feeling that this is you trying to... Uh, you know what? Maybe an air sign kind of told you you need to make a decision here. I think that maybe... It, Somebody, it doesn't even really have to be an air sign, but it most likely is somebody who's a little bit more balanced and decisive and analytical. And they're kind of 
you're either embodying her spirit or so it's somebody in your life that's telling you you need to make a decision about your love life situation. You might be with a water sign who appears to be it all, but is also extremely manipulative. He's wishy-washy. He's kind of a mess. <laughs> he has a lot of emotions. It's probably a water sign. I want to say probably like a Scorpio or a Pisces. Or, I mean, I'm actually more Cancer or Pisces I'm getting. But it could be a Scorpio. Um, or it could just be someone with water in their sign or that just embodies this King of Cups attitude of like this, you know, he's very loving when he's happy. He's very, he comes off as like this very beautiful, very loving soul, very deep, very sweet, you know, really good guy, really sweet guy. Maybe like almost like, I don't know, like a Prince Charming type. And he seems like he has it all, but like in reality, he's manipulative. He is frustrating. He um, is emotionally all over the place. One minute he's there, the next minute he's like, let's break up. One minute, let's be together, let's not be together. I don't know. It's it's a drain on you. It's really a drain on you. And he's kind of a drag right now. He's not in a good place. And it takes it out on your relationship. He might even like go back and forth on whether he wants to be with you is what I feel. And like he can't make a decision. Almost like he can't make a decision whether he wants to be with you or not. Or, or like... <laughs> Yeah, it's like either that or you don't want to make a decision about it. And you don't want to make a decision about it. You don't want to make a decision about it because you really love him. You really care for this person for one reason or the other. And you want it to work out because when he's right, he's looking perfect for you. But he's not right right now. If this is not working out right now and you're trying to make it work and you're avoiding seeing the choice that you have to make, you're avoiding making that decision, you're avoiding confronting the obvious. And I mean, it shows it with the chariot right next to it too it's also reverse it's like you know you feel in your gut you feel in your bones that you need to move and you are supposed to move on about this you're supposed to do something about it i feel like in the past now you're stuck in this weird thing where you can't move forward in this relationship for one reason or another you can't move forward in this decision and you've made it that way i feel It's almost like you have your blinders on about this. You don't want to make a decision, so you just won't. And you keep just being like, just prolonging it. Like, eh, it'll be okay. And when it stops being okay, then then I'll deal with it. But it's like, it stopped being okay a long time ago. And you're like settling at this point. You're dealing with things that you... <laughs> you did this to yourself, guys. Like, you're not making a decision. You have to make it. <laughs> because look what happens because you haven't made the decision. Stab in the back ten times. It's like the tenth sword goes in. It's like... Oh my god, now they're going to stab me that in the back again. Like, they're going to hurt me again. They're going to say something mean that last time. And it's like the final goddamn straw for you. It's like you're just so frustrated and irritated. And you're like, I'm so tired of this. I'm so freaking tired of this person draining me. I'm so tired of, like, the back and forth on it. I'm so tired of not knowing where to go or, like, not being able to move on. And you don't really know what to do, honestly. So you're just laying down and taking it right now. And I'll look into the rest of the reading for that stuff, but this is getting kind of messy over here. <sighs> because, yeah, then you, after that, you get the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is the Ace of Cups reverse and the World reverse. So it's like you're having an emotional outpouring because you can't get to this point, I feel like. Or, like, you can't. It's, it's This chapter is over, and you're so sad about it because this person, for some reason, like, you thought they would come back. You thought this person was going to be your Knight of Cups, and I feel strong that the Knight and King of Cups here are like the same. You thought that this person was going to come through. You really did, and instead they're coming through like, we should just break up. <laughs> but let me see on that Page of Wands energy right here. Because that's like so sudden. It's like suddenly you get a message, so maybe this person is the Maybe they give you the message, but it doesn't feel so negative here. But I am very curious about it. Four of Pentacles reversed. Don't fall out like that. I hate when that happens. It's like five cards come out at once, and I'm like, I just wanted one. I want one to just pop out really bad, though. Just like one. Come on, just give me one. Come on. It's so nice when they're straightforward with you and just pop out. 
It's not going to be that way today. Okay, okay. Ten of Pentacles. It's someone telling you, I think it might even be a friend. A friend comes in to tell you, listen, maybe an air, maybe a fire sign, honestly. A younger, maybe even less mature seeming fire sign. Someone that you probably would kind of like maybe not even originally take their advice so well. Just wouldn't really take it to heart. They might come in and tell you, or like you might open up to them for in the first place. You might open up to them about your insecurities about this relationship. You might, you know release those insecurities in front of them and be like, listen, I don't even know that he's so back and forth or she's so back and forth. And I don't know like what to do here. Like I feel very strangely about this person. I don't know what they want from me and I want to be with them half the time, but then half the time they're awful and I don't, and I hate them and I love them and I hate them and I don't know how to feel about this. I'm so confused. Give me like, I don't know what to do. Maybe you open up to your friend about some other fight. As soon as you think it's fine, like maybe you have a fight and then you open up to them about it and like you're like hey i'm kind of like i'm concerned about the future of this like what do i do or like i don't know you're just opening up to your friend about it basically you're talking to your gals your guys whatever about it um so that's you releasing that and then they're kind of like listen you and like by talking about that you find that like you have a whole host of people that really care about you and that are gonna ooh, be there for you if this goes south and like they're like listen you could have it all and you're an amazing person. I think your friend is like, we're here for you, first of all. I'm here for you. Your rest of your, the rest of your friends and family are here for you. So, like, we'll help you through this, like, if you want to talk about it and, like, you know, get down to the root of leaving this person, possibly. And, and most importantly, they're opening your eyes to the fact that you can have it all. You really can have it all. You have more than one option. You're like, you have all these options, and you can do any of them. Why are you wasting your time on this? I mean, that's the Ten of Pentacles and the um, Seven of Cups here. It's just telling you, like, you have options and you could have it all. So that's what that page of wands. Somebody's going to come in and tell you that this month. And it's going to be really hard for you to hear, I got to say. You guys are going to get, like, I don't even know. Like, it's going to be wonderful for them to say that to you. And, yeah, it's going to be great, like, just to let them know that you have that option. But, like, Ace of Cups here... You're going to be really sad. You're going to be really upset about the cha this chapter ending. You're not going to be ready for this. Or you're not, you're not going to feel like you're ready for this, but you are, guys. You're ready, Leos. You're ready to move on. You're ready to have a better relationship. You're ready to have, like, a better life. You know. So let's see. Yep, the Eight of Cups reverse. You didn't want to move on you being sad because you don't want to move on but you know what you have to get through this you're gonna get through it you're going to get through this this is this signal is like yes it's super hard to get through this this is going to be extremely hard to get over this is a breakup that is going to it's going to rock your world a little bit but like I, I don't see the tower yet i shouldn't have said that but i do see the five of swords you're going to feel like you lost a battle this is going to be like a huge loss to you this is a huge loss you feel hurt about it. I mean, it's two fives. It's a five of swords and a five of pentacles. Five pentacles reverse is, you know, that low time, that low point of like being with them, like could probably brought you to your lowest points sometimes. Like, I feel like if this is the type of relationship where you broke up, you got back together, you broke up, you got back together. And if that's the case, then you're so over it. And if it's not the case and you in like this like, you've just been harping on something that either didn't work out in the past or that, um, I think that could also be it. Like, you're upset about something that didn't work out in the past. <laughs> you're upset about something that, that's not coming to manifestation right now. But I do feel like a lot of you are in this, like, long-term struggle with somebody in a relationship. And it's, it's caused you a lot of pain. It's caused you a lot of pain and you're really having a hard time moving on from it. And that's why this is such an emotional outpouring because you don't want this to be over you don't want this chapter to be over you really wanted it to work out but it's a loss it's a loss guys it's over and the queen of cups is here at the end though to like nurture you through this she's here to like nurture you through this through the through this so maybe a water sign in your life is going to help you through it either or you could meet a water sign like a cancer i feel like or a pisces could be a scorpio um, and they're just going to really help you. They're going to have a lot of feminine, like loving qualities, even if it is a male figure. But I do feel like this is a loving person in your life, like somebody that's a friend to you. And they're going to be there for you so much through this. You're going to have a lot of 
love and especially you know even if it's from your mother like you might be having such a hard time about this that you might need to be like mom I just need to talk to somebody I'm really sad I'm like this breakup is really hurting me I don't know what to do and she could really be there for you and you know this is gonna feel like <laughs> the moon upside down it's gonna feel like all your anxieties all your stress all your all the bad things come out to roost during this time but you know what sometimes we have to go through this Leo to get through to where to get to where we want to be and understand like how to not have bad relationships how to not have toxic and dysfunctional relationships that mess us up mentally this person probably made you feel like they could be it it's probably they were probably really attractive i feel like too attractive and cute mysterious maybe big dark eyes and you were like i could be with them forever <laughs> And they just, it's not going to be like that. It's just not, they're not your knight in shining armor. They're the opposite. <sighs> yeah, the knight of swords right here with the knight of cups reverse. See, I'm like, I was pulling some on um, clarification on the knight of cups reverse, the queen of cups and the moon. Get yeah, the knight of swords. The ace of pentacles. Oh. And yeah, the seven of swords there. So you're going to feel like somebody cheated on you. Maybe they might even like leave you and say that it's not like, oh, it's me, it's me. Like, I need to be alone. I'm going through so much right now. I'm dealing with a lot like for X, Y, and Z reasons. And they might, and you might find out, come to find out that like they might be talking to somebody on the side. Or like, you might be like, is it because you have a crush on somebody? Or like, is it because somebody else caught your eye and you don't want to be in a relationship anymore? And they you might find out that they lied and that they do want that that that's exactly what the issue is that might be a, an issue around it you know it's your fears you might feel really cheated on or maybe that you got caught cheating i don't think i don't feel like that's the case though this time or it might feel like what happened yeah but the knight of cups reverse i mean it happens suddenly so this person delivers this bad news really suddenly too it's like this breakup happens pretty suddenly. Like they just come in flying and then they're out. And it comes, it's just kind of like, whoa, what just happened? Like what just happened? And this queen of pen, this queen of cups here is offering you this though. She's offering you love. She's offering you new opportunities. So yeah, I really do think that this person, the queen of cups is going to help you. Maybe not so much. If they are a love interest that comes in at the end here, I just don't feel like they are though. I really feel like they're a friend or somebody that's gonna support you through this and help you. This is like support, a hand coming in with support, love, comfort, stability. I mean, that's what the Ace of Pentacles is. It could, I mean, and, and I, I mean, unless it's a job, but I don't think, I think it's just a stability, a really huge force of stability and love. and. This person telling you you have other options you can be with whoever you want to be and i will help you with that i will help you because be better and feel better so yeah i know that like it's it's a really wishy-washy weird reading guys and it doesn't seem very positive but it does seem like there are people behind you that are going to help you through this hard time love can't always be smiles and roses and i'm really sorry about that um but if you have any more questions on it this resonated with you and you want more information um, message me um, on my email or at my PayPal with your question and I have all the information down below if you need some more help with that. Alright, so let's see what the Gypsy Witch is going to sum it up with. Let's see. Number 35. The tower surrounds by, surrounded by clouds denotes sickness and if adjoining death. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's a bad relationship. Yeah, you guys are, rethink, if you are in a relationship where you're not totally happy and it's been really up and down, it's been a mess. And I feel like, again, if this doesn't resonate specifically with you, go look at your sun, moon, um, Venus, whatever. Look at your other signs in your chart um, and the readings for that. But, um, I mean, maybe this is just for one specific person. They also, they just really needed to hear this, but they need to get out of it <laughs> they need to get out because it's just surrounded by it's just sickness the relationship is sickness and it needs to be cut out no oh, that sounded so medieval <laughs> all right so on to 
I think I said I was gonna do Sagittarius next. I wanna use, I wanna use these again for Sagittarius. All right. All right, Sagittarius, let's do it. Messages of love, relationships, romance. Anything that we need to know, any events, anything that is coming in. But our partners, but our prospective partners about our love lives that we need to know. This July 2018. What is happening for my Sagittarius? Buds. Okay. I like to make sure that they're very mixed up. appreciate if just like what come one would fall out though like I feel like for none of the love readings I'm getting messages that are jumping out at me yet like my like cards jumping out is what I mean I'm getting mad about it <laughs> usually they're like pop 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 right out and they give me some messages no I didn't really come out Eight of Wands, communication, energy, moving forward. Yes. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. Maybe communication from a Taurus or a Virgo. Maybe a Capricorn. Queen of Swords reverse. Oh, boy. Six of Pentacles reversed. Four of Cups. The Devil, whoa. Temperance. Nine of Cups reversed. I feel that that is it for now. All right, so Eight of Wands here. So this is communication, <sighs> moving forward with an earth sign and hmm. it's like you get communication with an earth sign and you decide to not give something. You decide to against, it might be like you're trying to communicate with like an earth sign from the past because then we get the six of, no, I don't really think that actually, I'm sorry. Six of Pentacles for me almost seem like you're cutting off ties. Yeah, it kind of seems like you're cutting ties with the past. You're cutting ties with giving to your past anymore. Giving to... It's like giving to the feel. I don't know. You're, you're cutting something off here. I want to I want to look into this a little bit. Yep, we get the Seven of Cups, Judgment Reversed, Page of Cups, Seven of Pen Eight of Pentacles, sorry when I say that reversed. So I feel like you have a lot of options. <laughs> You're getting communication from an Earth sign. If that's what you've been waiting for. And it kind of seems like somebody else is against that. Somebody else from your past doesn't want that to happen. Probably an air sign, a female air sign. So it kind of seems like if you're a guy, you're kind of caught between two women here. 
one of them from your past is against you maybe an ex and you're trying to move forward with this earth sign this queen of pentacles who is just like perfect girlfriend material i mean that's what the queen of pentacles is she's like loving nurturing she'll cook you anything she'll buy you things even she'll like and she's just sensual loving wonderful lady she's really almost like maternal very loving and you have this queen of swords energy um right next to her where that's just like you know decide it's like a lack of clarity also somebody acting vind i feel like there's someone acting vindictively um upon you honestly an air sign I think it was somebody that you burned that, like, you know, when you were trying to, like, see what your options were. So if you had just, like, if you had been dating and maybe you had went out with this girl and, um, whatever. She really liked you and you didn't care so much about her or him. And so then you went on to the next one, on to the next one. And then you met this other Queen of Pentacles here. And now she found out and she's acting vindictively against you and is trying to halt this change. She's trying to stop you from telling this girl you want to be with her. She's trying to stop this relationship in its beginning stages here. She's trying to stop it. Um, I want to pull a little bit more on that, actually. And you put... Cause yeah, she's like mad that like she's like I put work into this, you didn't put work into this, blah blah blah. So it could be somebody acting vindictively against you, or somebody that's just like you didn't put effort into my relationship with you. Like why are you why are you go trying to go out with her instead? Like it kind of seems like you have like you dated somebody like that, and they kind of did that to you. And that's kind of messed up. <laughs> All right, let's see. I want to see this relationship between the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords here. feels tense. Feels fiery and angry and tense. She feels a lot of anger towards this Queen of Pentacles, I feel. Wow. Again, I get like they're they're mad. They they're mad about the work. They haven't been putting in they're like, you didn't put in the work, I put in the work. That's what I feel like is going on here. Like you didn't even need to try. Why why are they with you? Yeah, I never got, it was a false start for this other relationship with an air sign. And they are mad. They are mad. They're trying to sabotage. Yeah, wow. 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 Because they thought, like, they were about to have it all with you. And they're not. And they're like, this girl that you're with is, is like, she thinks she's Miss, like, perfect girl. And she's not. And this person, like, oh, wow, this person feels really negatively towards you guys. So there's an air sign in the mix here, and I'm feeling like it's female, and she is actively hating you. Actually, she might come in and try to ruin your relationship. I'm not even joking. She literally might come in out of nowhere and try to destroy your relationship. Like, out of nowhere, come in and say something really harsh, or, like, start this when it's in the process. So that's what I'm getting here. It's like, she's trying to stop this. She's trying to stop you from giving your love and giving your attention. You know, from, like, starting something here. The six here is, like, a beginning. It's... It's receiving something, and she's blocking um, this girl receiving. I don't know, it's, she's blocking the love from you. She's blocking the connection of it starting, really. Maybe she talks to her. I mean, I want to see, actually. Oof. You might have somebody working actively against you guys. You may need to just go talk to this Queen of Swords. Um, if you feel that this is resonating with you in your life, you might just want to go talk to this person and be like, I'm sorry, but you can't mess with my relation, like with my, like what I'm doing now, because I didn't want to be with you. The magician reverse, yeah, you, it, it just it wasn't going to happen with this person, and they're now they're actively trying, yeah, with this, they're actively trying to block you from manifesting this new relationship and loving your life. That's so mean. It's very mean energy. And you're, like, afraid to just acknowledge that this is happening. It kind of feels like they're afraid to move on, and you're afraid to, like, deal with this, honestly. Wow. You have to have patience. You have to have strength in this situation. You're going to have to tame the beast, all right? So if that's somebody in your life, this person's trying to wreck your relationship here, um, deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs> Because, you know, you might have to give them a little bit of, like, a false thing here. They might be sitting here waiting for you to be, like, they're waiting for you to fill those cups, and you have to come in with another cup and be, like, 
can we just be friends? Can we stop acting like this, please? And it's really weird because then there's the devil, the te temperance, and the, the wish card reversed. I don't know. We'll see if we can flip that, though. See what am I feeling it's about it. Because I wasn't sure when I picked it up, honestly. Which way I felt to flip it. All right, four of cups. The devil, temperance. Oh, my God. Seems like you're going to temper the situation, but let's see. <laughs> but it is going to be like dealing with the devil. The person's obsessed with you. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, nine of wands here. Page of swords. Yeah, they were waiting around for you. <laughs> oh, my God. The hero font. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles reverse. And Ten of Cups reverse. God, Queen of Wands. I'm going to do the Nine of Pentacles on its own. Because this is just telling me that it's like, this person was waiting around for you. Yeah. And you might be waiting, honestly, on them to just, for an apology. I feel like you're waiting for an apology for their behavior. At the, at, after they act this way, I feel like they're going to act this way around probably really soon, considering um, the solar eclipse is happening on the 11th. Um, 11th, 12th. Is it the, I, I know, people keep telling, saying it's the 13th that we have some, um, that we have the solar eclipse. But I don't know, I thought, I read several places that it was the 11th. But, I don't know, we'll look into that. I feel like just in different parts of the world, maybe it's a different time. I don't know. I'm not an astrologer. <laughs> Cannot say that enough. But I think that it's still, like, it's dredging up a lot of crazy energy for some people. And some people aren't going to be able to handle it. And, like, whoever this was was waiting on you, first of all. They wanted to be with you. They're, like, kind of obsessed with you. They're a little obsessive. And they were expecting you to step in. They were waiting and watching and feeling really frustrated about it and they were only gonna wait for you and you're kind of like afraid you're standing off like you're in like a standoff like I put up a wall with that person they're like a little crazy but they and it's it's like it's kind of like both of you right now you're standing off on them like waiting for you to relax so I can talk to you like a human being and they're kind of waiting for you to come and tell them that you want to be with them and you're gonna stop dating whoever else you're trying to date and you're going to have to be the bearer of bad news. I mean, whether they communicate with you first, you communicate, communicate with them first. It's not going to be good news. So whatever it is, it's bad communication between you guys. It's going to be... I, well, no matter what it is, if you wait for them, they're not going to communicate with you if like directly unless it's ruining your relationship, which is not it's still not directly to you. It's to the other person that you're trying to date, um, <laughs> which I think that they will. Kind of feels like that kind of like crazy person like a crazy ex and they are trying yeah they're trying to actively they're talking shit talking mad shit everywhere about you and you're gonna kind of have to be like listen you're gonna have to, have to be like the bigger person here you're gonna have to call upon your higher self and maybe even like talk to somebody that could help you through this honestly to deal with this person this is i think relying on intuition relying on somebody who has intuition relying on your own intuition and if you can't figure that out maybe asking somebody else but like there is more here than meets the eye <laughs> and you're gonna have to deal with it because otherwise all that effort all that work that you're putting into this new relationship they're gonna ruin it so you know try to be patient with it try to temper the situation as much as you can but sometimes tempering it doesn't work and I'm kind of thinking that this time it might be being patient and dealing with it that way is it's helpful and good but with this person it might just it might still not get you where you want to be in your life so whatever you did to this person whether it be someone that you had a long relationship with or somebody that you didn't really have a relationship with they're just they are at you guys they are coming at you so let's pull that's just July, though, you know? I do feel like if you really want things to work out with this earth sign, maybe you can talk to them, maybe you can talk to 
you know, figure out the situation, but communicate with people. Okay, it's going to be about communication. Maybe if this person is acting vindictively toward you, like toward you, communicate with them that that's not okay, and they can't treat you that way, and they can't act like that. You know, it's wrong. All right, here we go. Number 36, the cat indicates flattery. If near number six foretells personal injury. <laughs> For me, eight is communication. Like I was just saying, eight, it's still it's still harping on that on that positive communication. Communicate the love to the person that you care about. Communicate that you want to be with whoever you're trying to be with, and communicate that you don't want to be with the person that you don't want to be with. You have to communicate directly with people, Sagittarius. Like you guys have a problem with I feel like being direct in a lot of situations you're all flattery and fun and games and whatever and like let's beat around the bush but you guys got to be direct with this person because otherwise they might go a little nuts you might have a crazy x on your hands okay so let's move on to um aries and then we are all set all righty so aries here we go hmm you know what these aren't feeling right to me for this. I'm gonna go back to my Rider Waite deck. This feels right. Let's do it. Aries, July 2018. Love, relationships, messages from spirit, things that we need to know. Things that are coming in, things that are happening. People that are coming in. Our partners, our spouses, soulmates, twin flames. Tell me more. Ace of Cups, yes, finally. <laughs> I feel like a lot of my love readings have been extremely tumultuous up until now. The moon. Oh gosh, why did I even say that? The Seven of Swords. Six of Cups reversed. Justice. Ace of Swords. Page of Wands. Judgment. All right. Let's go with this right now. Doing like that's good for right now. So we get the Ace of Cups, the Moon. So I feel like around, you know, I mean, we're about to hit that solar eclipse. So I do believe that that is going to be a huge awakening for you guys. I think it's going to open up your, I don't know, I feel like it's going to make you feel so emotional. You're going to be able to communicate your love. You're going to you're gonna feel so emotionally vibrant with love and everything on this Aries or around, um, you know, the solar eclipse here. So I do think that you're going to be able to have an open heart at this time. Your heart is going to be open to love. You're going to be able to give love like no other. And Aries, when you fall in love, like you fall hard, you go in fast. So it could be that you fall in love around this time. You find somebody that is just seems amazing. You're just so excited about the future of your love life, about where you are right now in your love life. Um, you could be just feeling a lot. <laughs> I mean, the ace of, or it could be that somebody starts a relationship with you at this time. I think for some of you, it could be the start of a relationship start falling in love and it's like magical during under the moon under the moonlit sky you know this is just like a really deep intro like it's a deep feeling with it with, 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 the, with whoever or whatever you're getting involved in with this ace of cups um the emotions run deep into your heart and they're definitely affected by the moon so you're gonna be feeling it like extremely and then we get the seven of swords reversed right there so it's kind of like at the same time, it could be feeling like you're being cheated by a soulmate. You're being cheated by somebody. You could be feeling the pain of being hurt in the past. You could be feeling a past pain, a past hurt really, really deeply. Or, you know, like maybe you were cheated on in the past or maybe somebody caught you. Maybe the person that you thought you were going to be with caught you cheating or caught you acting suspiciously and like they're 
their justice was like, it's over. This is it. It's done. So for those of you who have done that, it's over. You're about to get caught. You can start the month off feeling really... I mean, you can start <laughs> with this first solar eclipse being really emotional and happy and loving. And then all of a sudden, it's like fears come out to roost. <laughs> like everything that... It's like a, this, the moon suddenly is illuminating all the all the shit that you've done to the, whoever you're with. And I think that some of you guys do need to hear that. Like some of you have acted. I don't want to be mean, but it does seem like, I don't know, I'm just getting an energy that some Aries have done this. And I'm not saying you're all bad and that you all did this, but everybody makes mistakes. We all, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those mistakes. We all ruin, it all happens sometimes. You all, everybody goes through a breakup. It's really weird if you don't. Um, or it's really weird to never make a mistake, I will say. So, you get justice reversed there. So, yeah, you're, somebody is going to act like, no, like, no, you're not getting, you're not getting another chance. You're not getting that. Like, I don't care how long we've been together. It's over. We're done. We're super done. <laughs> could be a Libra. Or you could really, really piss off the Libra in your life. Because, I mean, justice is Libra. <laughs> and they can be done with it. Um... All right, I'm going to pull a couple clarifiers. Yep, the Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> the Knight of Swords. King of Wands reversed. Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, hmm. It does kind of seem like hmm. whatever you were putting work into, whatever efforts you were trying to make, you were trying to be, you were working towards being this person. You thought you could have it all. You really thought like you could. So if you did cheat or like something like that kind of happened. Or, you know, even if it didn't happen right away, like you were working on being a really great person. <laughs> or you thought you could still get away with it. You could, not like, I don't mean like a great person, but I mean like you thought you could do anything, basically. You're trying to be that girl that can do whatever she wants and be whoever she wants or a guy who can do whatever he wants. And <laughs> somebody's going to come right in and be like, hell no. Maybe, probably an, either another fire sign is going to come in and be like, I'm sorry, no, you can't just do that. You can't just, I don't know, I actually, actually, it could be you. You could be acting vindictively. You could be acting all crazy, honestly. And it's not going to work out for you. Somebody's going to come in and be like, you can't just do that. No, you can't. Like, I'm done. Like, this is mean. This is cruel. Like, like screw you. This is like a, kind of like a screw you. Like, it comes in and stab you. Or nothing comes in at all. Like, you're waiting for... I don't feel that way, though. I really feel like this is something coming in sharp and fast. And out of nowhere, like, somebody could recall something from, like, the past and bring it up. Something that happened a long time ago. And it could just, like, if this is you, this could have you just, like, really mad, really angry, really fiery. All the bad qualities of your fire sign self, all your Aries bad qualities. You could be raging like no other about this. Or it's, just, it's something that, like, yeah, something that, like, somebody comes, like, back to tell you you can't, like, what you did was messed up. Like, what you did was really cruel. What you did was wrong. I feel like somebody's coming in to yell at you about it and to kind of illuminate the situation to show them, to show you that, like, you know, you have illumination on this. You have a chance. I feel like they're almost, like, telling you, like, yes, like, now that you see what you've done, you can have a chance to make it right. And you might even try to do that. 
but it's not going to go over well with, um, I feel like maybe if it's an earth sign involved, it's not going to go over well with them. They're not going to appreciate it. A female earth sign is not going to appreciate this. And, or it could be that you're between an earth sign and another fire sign. I'm going to pull something on this. This seems a little bit confusing. I feel like I... There's a lot happening here. But I do feel that, yeah, there's no sense of justice. So if you've been cheated on by somebody that you thought was a soulmate, there, you're not going to get justice. Huh? You're not going to get the justice that you want for it. But you will be able to say your piece and like see like see it clearly for what it is say your piece and start a new start a new life start a new um be a new you be ready for a new chapter you're ready to face what was there and move on so it's like this is kind of like a huge change at the end of the month for you Five of Cups. Queen of Pentacles again, reverse. Hmm. And the Nine of Cups. You can... <sighs> There's wishes coming true at the very end, you know? You're going to be able to get through this. Like, you're going to be able to feel happy with where you are and feel like, you know... Feel like, you know, the Nine of Cups here, which is great. It feels like wishes come true, which is kind of weird after all this. But it kind of feels like you finally get that change. You finally get to be where you want to be. Um, it kind of seems like you're alone. I feel like a lot of people are ending their relationships or ending negative things during this month. A lot of stuff is coming out. I feel like all this negative stuff that we've ever done is finally coming out. Like, it's just pouring out. It's coming out of the woodwork. So if you've ever done anything bad, I feel like it's between these two eclipses this month, it's going to come out. Or right? if somebody else has done something bad, it's like it's going to come out and you're going to have to face it. And... You're gonna have hope for the future though. You know, you're gonna be upset about where, where you've, like what you've ended, but you're going to be able to clearly see how to move forward now. You're gonna be able to clearly communicate like what you want and where you wanna go from here. You're gonna have a new start. You're, this is like a new beginning, new, uh, new start for you, an offer of a new, it's like new communication almost. It's like almost like somebody's communicating to you that it's time to move on. It's time for this to start and it's, it may even feel like you're starting like you're young again. Like you could have a breakup with somebody that you haven't been, that you've been with for forever. And you might have to just start over. You might feel like really immature and weird and young and like confused and like, I don't even know how to do this anymore. But you know what? For the best, for the best, Aries, for the best. So I hope this resonated with you guys. I mean, because you know, you get the star here. Like behind all of this, this is all destined by the universe. This all has to happen. It's like, it's giving you hope for a better future, okay? You're going to be okay. All right, Aries, I hope this was helpful. And now we're going to do the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling for a clarifier at the end here. A nice message to you. What do we need to know from Spirit? We need a message about Aries. Where are they headed to through all this, you know? Where are my Aries friends headed to in all of this romantic madness? Number 21, the, st the stork denotes change of residence for the better. Sooner or later, according to the distance from which it lies to the person, which has to do with just cards. But yeah, change of residence for the better. You're changing your life for the better, guys. You're go moving on for the better. You're going somewhere else for the better. You're being with other people for the better. And it's going to be great. So congratulations, Aries. It's going to be a tough month. Some stuff's going to come out maybe about you or somebody else. And it's going to be really hard. But you're going to get through it. You're going to, you guys troop through things. I feel like it's always by being angry and stubborn, but like it works for you. It's how I, it's like, that's how I get through things too, is being angry and stubborn, but it gets you through it. And then at the end, you feel like more proud of yourself <laughs> for at least surviving. So I hope that was helpful. Um, comment, like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And um, if you're looking for a more personalized reading based on any of the stuff that like you heard and resonating with you and you're still feeling confused, check out my other, um, uh, videos for monthlies and also check out um, below where I have um, 
where my readings are so you can paypal me with all of your question and everything or you can email me if you have any questions or check out my website so have a great july guys and i hope everything gets better everyone's energy is this is nuts honestly energy is nuts <laughs>